Hi students, it's me, Ms. Fitzpatrick, with your mental health moment for today. Yesterday, I recommended that you really try to focus on eating some healthy foods, including eating breakfast every day, and we made a breakfast smoothie. So today we're really gonna go like 100% in the opposite direction, and we're gonna make cheesecake brownies. For making really good brownies, the first thing I need to do is melt some butter on the stove top, which I've done. And now I'm gonna add the sugar and let the sugar and the butter cook for a while until it gets nice and smooth and shiny. Once the mixture is really well incorporated and all of the sugar is dissolved in the butter and you've got a really nice, smooth, shiny mixture, you're going to take the pot off of the heat. Once you take it off the heat, you can stir in the cocoa, uh, baking powder, salt, and espresso powder. And then you're going to let it sit for about five minutes. And that's because the next thing that we're going to add is the eggs. And we do not want to scramble the eggs because scrambled egg brownies, not delicious. My chocolate mixture has been cooling, and so now it's time to mix in my eggs. This is what it looks like once the eggs are mixed in. And now the last thing I need to add is my flour. Once I've mixed my flour in until my mixture is nice and smooth, I'm really gonna go over top with the chocolate and add in some chocolate chips. I used bittersweet chocolate chips in mine because I really like the flavor of a darker chocolate. But if you have semi-sweet chocolate chips at home, you could use those or milk chocolate, or you could even go really nuts and use white chocolate chips um, if you want to do something a little different. Now, while my mixture was cooling, I went ahead and mixed together cream cheese, sugar, a little bit of flour, some eggs, some heavy cream, and some vanilla, and that's gonna be my cheesecake mixture. So now it's time for me to assemble my brownies. Here I have a pan that I greased with butter, and then just to make the brownies even easier to get out of the pan, I put a layer of parchment paper on top of the butter, and then I buttered the parchment paper. So if they stick, I can just lift the whole thing out um, with the parchment paper. So what I'm going to do is put about half of the chocolate mixture um, in the bottom of the pan, and then I'm going to layer it with the cream cheese mixture, um, and then put the other half of the chocolate mixture on top. It is not an exact science. This brownie batter is really sticky um, and uh, really goopy, but that's exactly how brownies should be, right? We want them to be nice and fudgy, and that's how we get that good fudginess. Um, so now we do some twirling and swirling to get that cheesecake layer mixed in nicely with the brownie layer. Not overmixed, we want that nice pattern on top. 
But again, here, it's really not an exact science. It's really hard to mess it up, so don't stress out about it. Once you have both mixtures in the pan, your brownies are ready to go into the oven, probably for about 40 to 45 minutes at 350. Your brownies are going to be ready when um, a cake tester or a toothpick inserted um, into the brownie part comes out clean. Your cheesecake part will still probably have a little bit of a wobble, but that's okay. Mm. Don't they look fabulous? Once you take them out of the oven, leave them somewhere to cool and make sure they cool completely before you cut them. Have a great weekend.